Hello everyone, Pally's time here with TGN.TV. This is a continuation of my Back to the Future Let's Play. Now, uh, I'm really glad you guys liked Episode 1. It got a really positive response, and it is a bit different of a game than, uh, you know, what most viewers here are used to, but I hope you continue to enjoy the series, continue to enjoy the commentary that I provide, and it should be a pretty fun ride. In the last episode, this DeLorean rolled right up to Doc's house, and we also retrieved uh, Doc's notebook from inside. So, uh, let's, let's see who was in the DeLorean. Can I see who's in the DeLorean? There we go, now I have the indicator. Doc? Is it gonna be the dog? <laughs> Where do you come from, boy? Didn't you bring Doc with you? All right, now we get to take a look around the DeLorean. We have the time circuit switch, and I think that's... No, I can highlight other things. So let's take a look at that. Looks like the time circuits still work. Now I only need to know when to look for Doc. There's a shoe. Okay, Doc. I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. And then we have the time circuit display. I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Okay. And the time circuit key. Oh, we have a fucking... Handheld tape recorder that I somehow didn't see there. This could give us a big clue. Marty, that. Marty if you're hearing this recording, then the DeLorean's automatic retrieval feature is a resounding success. Automatic retrieval? In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I programmed the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity, and despite my elaborate precautions, there's always the possibility that I could land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is now, or then, or uh, maybe later. He's in trouble. Marty, you come to my rescue in the past, or oh, was it the future? Anyway, I'm relying on you to do it again. Please take the DeLorean back or, or forward to whatever it is I'm stuck in time. When you get there, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do. That's it? Aren't you going to tell me when that is? Just go to the date specified on the time circuit readout under the heading mark Last Time Departed. Good luck. Right, right. Last Time Departed. Last Time Departed. Uh, oh, jeez. Come on. Come on. Come on. Crap! Oh, great. How am I supposed to find him now? I hear uh, punching things always helps. Especially technology. I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Once I know when to look for Doc. Alright, let's try that again. I can use those to enter a date into the Wait. Once I know I didn't use I didn't say the keypad, it says the display. I can use the So what happens if I use the Okay, I guess I'll just get out of the car. <laughs> let's see if the dog has any clues on him. Hi there, Einstein. You're a beautiful little puppy. What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einie? You don't say. Uh, let's try going back in. Let's see if we miss something. Is there more to the car that we can look at? Or is this really it? I probably shouldn't fiddle with the time circuits again until I know when to look. Oh, just figure it out already. All right, let's look for a hint. A, hot, a handheld shoe in the DeLorean. Something smells fishy or high-heeled shoe. Uh, so I have to open my inventory, inspect the shoe, I think. <laughs> I apologize, I'm still figuring everything out. So I have the shoe, what, what do I do with it? Let's give it to Einstein. Maybe he can sniff it. Sniff the shoe, Einstein. What do you know about this shoe, Einie? Great Scott! I 
think he's onto something. Where are you taking a side side? Okay, now we're getting somewhere. How's this supposed to lead me to dock, Aini? Okay. The liquor store door. Well, he obviously wants to go in here. It's locked. Okay, there's a buzzer. Step away from the door! <laughs> now! Let me get a look at you. Einstein, come on. Just as I suspected. Hooligans. Get along now. Scat. I'm no hooligan. Einstein brought me here. Who are you? Uh, Einstein brought me here. Stay your business, child. You're making me miss Merv. Well, see, that's the thing. I'm not sure why I'm here. Einstein here brought me, and... Well? Uh, I'm no hooligan. Alright, I got something for you. Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. Alright, let's re-equip the shoe. Nah. No, I was gonna let you see here. A shoe? Wow, now what would I want with a... Such a weird old lady. So she has the other shoe. Good job, Einstein. Leave that creature outside. Sorry, Einstein. But he's so cute. Aw. Poor little Einstein. All right, so she had an older version of the shoe. Holy crap, does she have enough padlocks? Well, took you long enough. Um, there's a lot of stairs. To return the shoe, I mean. I lost it ages ago. You can put it down next to the other one. Mm, much better. So neat and orderly. Nah, I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. No, I... All I've got is tea and candy. I'll but take some tea. I'm sorry I called you a hooligan. I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten people in this city are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. Uh... Have a seat, Sonny. <laughs> yeah, I'll sit down right there. Hey, you kid! Put out those cigarettes! Wow. Crazy lady. Alright, so we can look at the shoes. Einstein brought me that shoe from the past. But when in the past? That's what we need to figure out. So we have cat trophies. What are these? My editorial trophies. Cat Lovers Quarterly. It's legitimate journalism. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, we might see a picture of the doc up there. Let's see. <laughs> Is that Vice Principal Strickland? Mother never could keep little Gerald out of her clothes. That's funny. We got a radiator. Man, she keeps it hot in here. the kettle. I'll be right back with some tea. And don't touch anything. I assume that means to touch everything. Candy! Oh, the candy looks older than I am. Cat bowls. Uh, well, then we have newspapers. Juveniles collide with manure truck. 
Nice picture. <laughs> I believe I was in Back to the Future 1, of course. Hey, uh, mind if I use your binoculars for a sec? Go ahead, dear. Man, these are powerful. I could see Biff going into the video store. Yeah, he wouldn't believe the filth that boy watches. Yeah, he's nothing but an out-of-control hedonist, just like his father. If there's a clue to find a doc out there, I'm not seeing it. I don't even know where to start looking. Well, we can try to check the newspapers again. Don't touch those! My newspapers are in pristine condition and meticulously organized. Not about to let some street punk get jam all over them. I think I know what I have to do. Let's just check the side of the room again. We have the kitchen door. Uh, Miss Strickland, how about your tea? Uh, you forgot to turn on you! the... No! It's spelled with a U! You illiterate vandal! Okay, so I think I need to turn the radiator again, so I can have more time to look at the newspapers. There's the whistle! Surely the water's boiling by now! Yeah! Pretty sure I got it. Pretty sure that's all I have to do, and then I just keep checking these newspapers. I hope. Brown Mansion destroyed. 1962. No, no, that's not where Doc's stranded. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. Well, there's another stack here, but I don't think I can select it. Try it again, I guess. Firm announces plans for Lone Pine Mall. Peabody Ranch to be rezoned for commercial development. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. All right, so we have to narrow it down to a year. Jeez, they all look like they've got sticks up there. What's that, dear? Uh, nothing. Jeez, they all... What's that? <laughs> uh, nothing. Uh... Yeah, that's peculiar. The water still hasn't come to a boil. Maybe talk to her. Uh, Miss Strickland? Yes. <laughs> this bitch is crazy. When did you lose your shoe? Do you remember when you lost your shoe? Shoe? That shoe over there. Oh, that shoe. Huh. Hi, what a nosy Nelly. No one likes a busybody, you know. But. Oh, fine. Let me think about it. Uh. Yes, I, I remember. I, I lost it in a scuffle with a, a dog. <gasps> when was it? Oh, yes. The day that speakeasy burned down. <laughs> a speakeasy? In Hill Valley? Don't act so surprised, young man. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. <laughs> Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the day it was founded. Um. Bye. Don't let me keep you. You there! Don't even think about tossing that Kleenex on the ground! <laughs> Man, I would love to spend the rest of my life with her. Boiling by now. Yeah, you just waddle back on in there. And now we just need to look at the newspaper for the speakeasy again that burned down. Clint Eastwood plunges to death on runaway train. Alright, Einstein brought me this shoe, and Miss Strickland lost the shoe on the day the speakeasy burned down. But when did the speakeasy burn down? I at least need to know the year. The fuck? October 28th, 1985. Authorities still mystified by Maul's shootout. I don't even know where to start looking for clues. 
Uh. What is that noise? Like every time I do that, I know it's a cat, but. Cat trophy shoes. Suspect Mr. Strickland shoes. lost that shoe the day the speakeasy burned down. But when was that? Stop looking at. Hmm. Probably just have to talk to her again. That's what you get with these cheap, foreign made kettles. Alright, let's talk to her. Excuse me, Miss Strickland. Wow, a speakeasy. That must have been wild. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Don't romanticize the past, young man. Prohibition was a time when gangsters ruled the town while honest citizens quaked in their beds. Where was a speakeasy? So where was it? That speakeasy that burned down, I mean. That was ages ago. If you're looking for bootleg <laughs> hooch. No, I I'm just curious, that's all. I'm a, a student of history. Student of history? My Aunt Fanny. Yeah, your generation of hooligans and slackers could give two ripe things about history. Miss Strickland? Oh, video store! Huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square. Right where that disgusting videotape rental store squats today. So the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. Following year, as I recall. Okay. Don't let me keep you from your... Uh, lost her shoe during the age of prohibition when an illegal drinking establishment burned down. What went up in its place? The video store. So let's go back out to the main street here. Would you mind if I stepped out for a minute? I, I just remembered a video I've got to return. Do you have to go? I get so few visitors these days. I can't imagine but, why. And I'd hate to have to tell my brother, your vice principal in charge of discipline, how rude you were to me. <laughs> Especially with graduation coming up and all. Really, lady? Alright, well, let me turn your fucking tea on. Man. That tea's never gonna boil. That tea's never gonna boil. I know, let me go turn it on. That tea's ne Oh, that's stupid. Stupid. Alright, so, what if I look at these Marshall again? Marshall Strickland. My grandfather, gunned down by Mad Dog Tannen over a hundred years ago. That's not how I remember it. Okay, maybe there's something in my inventory. Can I give her the notebook, maybe? I think I'd better save this for Doc. Okay, what about the recorder? I don't want to record them right now. Well, duh. I told you not to touch those! Maybe we have to look at it one more time. Go to the kitchen, lady. I bet that tea's done. Yeah, go check on that tea. That you haven't turned on yet. So, I'm gonna check it one more time. If I don't see anything, I'm gonna try to go back into the kitchen. October 28th, 1985. Mall shoot out. Okay, let's try to... know where to start looking... Let's try to go in the door with her. The polite guest stays out of the host's kitchen, Mr. McFly. Oh, fuck it. I'm just leaving. I guess I'm stuck here for a while. Why am I stuck here? Give me another hint. You're looking for the date. You'll find it on, the, on a building. Oh, the binoculars! Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, uh, mind if I use your binoculars for a sec? Go ahead, dear. Fucking Biff. All right. Rebuilt in February 1932. So the fire must have happened before then. But when? I need a date. 
Don't look at me. I'm far too old for you. All right, we'll get here to go back into the kitchen one more time. And then we can check the pile of newspapers. There's the yeah, you wallow yourself back in there. All right. Let's see. Ground broken on site of former speakeasy. Singer vanishes. Hill Valley Expo delights crowd. Soup kitchen exposed. Here we go. Speakeasy arsonist slain. Legal procedure gave way to old-fashioned vengeance last night when a mob descended on the Hill Valley Police Station. The suspect in the speakeasy arson case, a drifter known as Carl Sagan, was pulled from his... Carl Sagan? It's Doc! Killed by a mob. What's the date? June 14th, 1931. Jeez, I gotta rescue him. Oh, shit. My newspapers! Sorry, Miss Strickland. Uh, let me... Ah! You've gotten my history out of order. Oh, do you know how long it'll take to fix what you've done? Oh, get out, get out, get out! Help! Police! I'm being attacked by hooligans! <laughs> oh, we put on our old timey clothes. Where you been, son? And what are you doing in that getup? I'm just for a Halloween party. It's a work uniform. It's a costume for a school play. Uh, didn't I tell you? I, I got the lead in the school play. Uh, we're doing... Grapes of Wrath? Right. Oh, Steinbeck. Who are you playing? Um, uh... Never mind. You don't have to explain. I'm sure whatever it is you're up to, you know what you're doing. Right? I hope so. Hey, sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love, right? Wish my dad had understood that. You won't stay away too long. You'll barely know I was gone. You ready to go, Einstein? Alright, well we have the date, and uh, in the next episode... We're going to go back in time to see if we can save the doc who was killed. Oh, it should be pretty interesting. I like the way this story is shaping up. I hope you guys are enjoying it, too. If you like this video, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button below. Leave me a comment. And uh, if you're interested in, sub in subscribing directly to me, there's a small button on the bottom right-hand side of the video that'll take you right to my channel, where I play all kinds of different games and things. All right, guys, that's it for me today. Thank you all for watching.